Lesson 7, using estimation to check answers. We will start off with a problem for you to try on your own first. The problem says a pedometer records the number of steps you take. Emma wore a pedometer for two hours. She recorded the number of steps each hour. The first hour, Emma took 1,347 steps. The second hour, she took 948 steps. So there are four parts to this problem. What you need to do first is figure out which hour Emma took more steps in. Then you need to find the difference between the two steps. So you need to find out how many more steps Emma took in the hour that she took more in than in the one that she took less in. So you're going to find the exact answer in B. Then in C, you're going to estimate how many more steps she took. So you're going to find the exact answer and the estimate. Use a strategy that works for you. And then you're going to compare your estimate and the exact number. And you're going to see if your exact answer is reasonable. Now we'll talk about this in just a minute. So take this opportunity to solve these four questions. How are you doing? Did you get that the first hour she took more steps? And then, did you answer B like this? Where you put the larger number on top, the smaller number on bottom, and solve? If so, then you are on the right track. Now, you may have had to remember how to borrow in this subtraction. So, remembering, if the top number is smaller than the bottom number, then you're going to have to borrow from the number to the left, the neighbor. So that neighbor goes, bumps one number down, and then the first number puts a one in front of it. So now we can subtract eight, or 17 minus eight, which is, nine. Then we go again, we've got four 
taking away from 3, but you can't do that because 3 is smaller than 4. So again, we're going to have to borrow from the 3 over here. Woo! So the 3 turns into a 2. This 3 turns into a 13. And now we can subtract 4 away from 13, which turns into 9 again. Then we've got, again, we're going to have to borrow. So we can't take 9 away from 2. So the 2 gets a 1 from in front of it. And this 1 over here turns into a 0. So we've got 12 minus 9 equals 3. Did you get 399 for your answer? Then at the bottom here it says, Estimate how many more steps Emma took. So we started out with the digits, 1,347 minus 948. So if I'm going to estimate, compatible numbers looks, looks good to me. I can bump this 47 into a 48 so that these are the same numbers. So I will go 1, 3, 4, 8, minus, and then 9, 48 stays the same. Okay, and so these 48s will basically cancel each other out because 48 minus 48 is 0. And that leaves us with 13 minus 9, or 1,300 minus 900. So 13 minus 9 is... 400. So if we move down to D here, it says compare the estimate with the exact number. Is your exact number or exact, exact answer reasonable? So our estimate says 400. Our exact number is 399. Those are extremely close. So I would say that yes. My answer is reasonable. Okay, they're very, very close. So that's why they would um, match up. Okay, so hopefully you had enough time to write that down. If you move down just at the bottom of your page here, it says when solving math problems, a strategy to ensure that you have solved correctly is to use estimation to check to see if your answer is reasonable. That is, does the answer you got make sense? That's why we're checking. So it's a logical thing. You want to know if your answer is correct. So if you turn your page, we're going to do another example similar to the one that we did on the front. If you feel like you've got a good handle on this lesson and you understand um, how to estimate and compare to an exact answer of both adding and subtracting, then if you see at the bottom of the page, we've got our textbook assignment here. And it is page 62, numbers 1 to 6 and 8. So if you're ready, you can do your assignment. If you'd like to see another example, then stay here and watch the rest of the video. So our next example says, after solving, well, for this is what you need to do. After solving, use estimation to check if your answers are reasonable. So this is the question. The students at Glenville Public School are raising money to build wells in Africa. The grade five class raised $3,432. The grade six class raised $2,180.
So first we need to know how much did the two classes raise together. Now this is my keyword right here, together, for knowing whether I add or subtract. If I want to know how much a number or how much something is together, that means that I need to add the two numbers together. So I'm going to put one number on top of the other and add it vertically. So we've got 3,432 coming from the grade fives and 2,180 coming from the grade six class. So then we just go ahead and add the numbers together. So we start at the right. We've got two plus zero is two. We've got eight plus three is 11. We've got one plus four plus one. So one plus four is five. Five plus one is six. And three plus two is five. So this is the answer that I got, 5,612. So that would be in money. That they raised all together. So next question is, which class raised more money and how much more did it raise? So this is a two part question. We've got right here, which, which class raised more money? And then we've got right here, how much more money did it raise? So to answer the first question, we need to go up and look at our problem. So grade five raised 3,432, grade six raised 2,180. So I look at this 2,000 here and this 3,000 here. And I can see that the grade five class raised more. So part A, the grade five class raised more. Oh, one part that I re just realized I forgot is I forgot to estimate up above to make sure that my answer was reasonable. So I got 5,612, but I have no idea if I actually got that right. So now I need to estimate to figure that out. So go back up to the top part of your paper there and follow along with me. So we've got $3,432 and $2,180. So let's go ahead and round. We'll round to the nearest hundred. So right here and right here, we're going to look. So if we're looking at the top number, we look at the neighbor to the right and that's a three. So three does not bump four up. So we get 3,400 rounded. And then we will add 2,180. That turns into, we've got this eight as a neighbor to the right of the one. So that eight is above five and it bumps that one up to a two. So we are left with 22,000. So now we can add our estimated numbers together. We've got three plus two is five, and four plus two is six, and zero plus zero is zero and zero. So our estimate is 56,000. Now, is that reasonable for my 12 over here? Yes, it is, because 12 or 5,612 is really close to 56,000. All right, let's continue on the bottom number here. So which class raised more money and how much more money did it raise? Now there's our keyword, how much more? 
That tells us we are no longer adding, but subtracting instead. So, we go up to our, our original numbers, and we do this, this same sort of thing, but subtract this time instead. So we've got 3,432 minus... All right, sorry about that. My mouse was not cooperating. So 3,432 subtract 2,180. So we're finding the exact answer first, then estimating. So 2 minus 0 is 2. Do that in a different color here. Then 3 minus 8. We cannot take 8 away from 3, so we are going to have to borrow. So this 3 turns into a 13 after borrowing 1 from the 4 in front. So we've got 13 minus 8 now. So 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That leaves us with 5. And here we've got 3 minus 1. We can do that because 3 is bigger than 1, so that's a 2. And over on the end here, we've got 3 minus 2, and that is 1. So this is saying that the grade 5 class um, raised 1,252 more dollars than the grade 6 class. Now we need to estimate to see if we solved properly. What's going on here? So we look at our original number and I can still see it here. It says 3,432 and 2,180. So it looks like if I um, round again to the nearest hundred, which is what I did up here. So I could use these same numbers as um, for this, I'm just subtracting. So the top number turned into 3,400 after rounding, just as we did above. And the bottom number, remember the eight bumped its neighbor up to two, so that turns into 22,000. And then we subtract, so zero minus zero is zero. Another zero minus zero is zero. Nothing's lining up. Then we've got uh, four, four minus two. Oh, and we don't need to borrow actually. Um, so four minus two equals two, and three minus two equals one. So my estimate is 1,200 or 1,200, and my actual is 1,252. So yes, it does check out. Now, if I had gotten, if this number over here was something like 1,680 or something for my actual, and my estimate was 1,200, that means that I went wrong somewhere. So if that happens where your number does not seem reasonable, then you need to check. First, double check your estimate. Make sure you did that properly. And if you did, then you're going to have to redo this over here, your original number, because your estimate told you that you did not do the math correctly. And that's the whole purpose of this is to make sure you're double checking your own math to make sure that you got it right. So you can go back to your desk now and you may begin the assignment if you have not done so already.